Comment yes if you see it. Welcome to today. Today is Friday. It's seven days. Seven days till Christmas. Six days until we have our family celebration, which is going to be fun. We're doing it all different, COVID style this year. How's this going to go? My pinkies? All right, so the girls got new gloves and they can hardly hack life. So if you got some black and gray ones. That's my pinky. My pinky's like all the way down. down the pinky. Let's see your gloves, Gabby. Show the world. Show the world your amazing gloves. She got red ones. I think you should have got me small. Okay, you should have got you small. I got you small enough. Um, Mine fit. Mine just needs to stretch out because they will stretch out over time. What do you hate about them? Can't do up any. No, that's what Sophia hates. Oh, Sophia. I just hate that I can't do up any bridles. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Oh, it's still bad. Gabby's complaining that she can't do a bridle. Sophie's complaining that it's oh, exposing God. her wrist. But man, they both said their hands were warm this morning. All right, so yeah. um, good morning. Welcome to today. You guys, seven days till Christmas. I have a super special video we're shooting today. Okay, so now I'm going to give Penny her medicine. Girl. Her likes it. Oh, she did not like it. Oh, you, she's trying to eat the syringe. Oh, now what are we going to do? You need that stuff. Here, lick it. Lick it. Just lick it. Lick it. Just lick it. She does like it. On TikTok, there's a pony that loves getting dewormed. And he literally, like, he literally just holds the syringe while she pushes it in his mouth. Well, that did not happen. That did not happen, and I broke my coat. I think it's yes. bigger problem than you breaking your coat. What is the bigger problem than me breaking my coat? It's not folding over. Oh my gosh, give me a break, girl after my own heart. I like everything to be a certain way too. Anyways, welcome to today. today's riding lessons, and I hope to, I have so many things that I've been trying to get done the last few days, like so many things. Every time Sam is home, it is a disaster zone because he likes to do stuff, and then I do stuff with him because I get, I get, he, he, he sways me to the other side, guys. He's like, let's go shopping. Uh, you are the one. <laughs> Shopping. It's true. I'm like, let's go shopping. <laughs> um, so crazy thing about my hair. I showed you guys oh, in yesterday. Showed you guys in yesterday's video how all my hair broke. I thought it was just the hair at the back. It's this all oh, this hair that I had in the front of me. It's all broken. Yeah. I have thin hair for the first time in my You're life. You're missing your hair. I am missing I a lot I've of hair. Yeah, so maybe has, I'm sleepwalking. Yeah, <laughs> attaching it to you because Sophie got a lot of hair. Gabby knows my problem though. All right, let's get done. Thin hair is definitely easier. Today we're gonna try and ride. I'm gonna ride my mare outside as long as I can, as long as it warms up sufficiently enough, and as long as it's looking good. Like I'm not gonna lie, December is a hard month for me. I've had something really bad happen to me for the last two Decembers, and then there's that rule of three, like. Three things have to happen before you, before you're done with like all that negative energy or I don't even know what it is, but all I know is I'm like a bit nervous. I'm a bit nervous because I did dream me in a hospital. I don't even know what's going to happen, but December is scary. And you guys might know that exactly a year ago tomorrow, Stella crossed the rainbow bridge. So today I'm going to shoot a super emotional video. I dug up the footage of the day that she died. Like, I'm so used to videoing everything that happens to us is that, it, so when Stella passed away, I videoed the whole thing, not knowing like she was actually gonna die and not even like, I was so out of my mind. And the reason I didn't share all that footage with you guys was not because of me, but it was because of you. Like I don't, you can't unsee the stuff that we saw and I don't wanna put that on you guys, especially all the kids out there, but I am gonna share more and more footage i'm gonna i haven't even watched it it's been a year exactly and i haven't watched the footage of her dying but sam pulled it out yesterday and the girls and him kind of watched a little bit of it 
I could hear them. I was preparing myself. I was getting tears in my eyes already. Like today I'm gonna man up and I'm going to revisit that day and I'm gonna share with you guys all the things that I think we should take away from Stella passing. So yeah, that's the video I'm gonna shoot today. But anyway, let's get on with this morning. Ooh. All right, did you throw hay? Yeah. All right, look at this beautiful girl. Uh-oh, open the door there. Should we open the door? For now, let's concentrate on the beauty that is today. The mini miracle that I'm noticing right in front of me is how beautiful this pony is. She's a brat, yes, <laughs> but she's beautiful. She is actually, she is, she's a quirky. I love quirky though. Like, if you ask me, I'll take quirky any day. Okay, Gabby, that's scaring the horses. Like, this is what I was talking about, people. This is it, you guys. We're letting the horses out. And... Oh, and Gabby's having a great old time with the, with the, what do you call that thing, tape measure, with the noisy, crazy tape measure. Okay, Gabby, put it away, because my mare be waiting. My princess girl, she be still be looking kind. She's looking kinder, that's what she's looking. Oh, she didn't eat all her hay again. Penny Pickle, what is wrong? That's two times since we've owned her that she hasn't eaten all her hay. Did you have too much hay or did you just sleep too much? While I believe in acclimatizing animals to noise, while I believe in all that, I also believe in being safe, you guys. Like there's, there's a time for desensitizing and then there's a time for making sure that nobody gets killed. Like you gotta be safe. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. No, come here. Come here. No, come here. No, I'm going to take it off you, but you have to come. Come. Well, let me take off your halter. See, that was our, one of our first fights, Penny. I don't know if you guys got to see that, but I wanted her to come closer to me, and she was like, no, you come closer to me. And I was like, no, you come closer to me. She's a good girl, though. Look at how they walk on this hard ground. Oh, you can't see. But, oh, that darn sun. Anyway, they all walk slow on this hard ground. See it? This is what happens in Canada. It freezes to the point that every spot that they dug up with it when the ground was soft turns into this big, huge peak. You see the peaks? So she's walking where it's not as bumpy. Ooh, you see that? Oh. She's like, get away. But Willow's trying. Willow's trying to say, you be my friend. I need a friend. Willow is wearing her down, you guys. Gabby has a measuring tape, and she's not afraid to use it. Uh-oh, what the heck happened to this bag? This is the new Molly thing. Look at this. Oh, she already did that. It's because we locked her in the barn yesterday. First thing I do when I come down is make sure that the cats have food. Because it is really cold, you guys. Really cold. I don't want a time to ever happen that they don't have food and that they're hungry because you all know when you're hungry, it's harder to stay warm. That's for people too. When you don't eat enough to sustain your body heat, you get cold fast. This is heart number three for today. The girls are gone up to the house and I'm just sweeping up and finishing up. And like Sam, I enjoy the quiet that is in the barn after the girls leave. It's just peaceful, quiet and calm and so filling. Watching the ponies out there having their hay. This is the reason why horses are good for older people. This is the reason why people, this is the reason why horses are good for people struggling mentally and emotionally. All you guys out there saying, how do I get my parents to buy me a horse? If you're suffering from any kind of anxiety or depression, tell your parents that horses can cure it all. Hello. Hello, kitty kitties. You guys are good sharers, your best friends. Look at how big he is and how small she is. I stepped on his paw yesterday, but I saw him climbing the tree this morning, so my guess is that he's doing okay. Are you doing okay? Yes. I don't want to scare them away from eating. I also want to fix this 
so that they don't knock it off. I also forgot to show you guys the other day that this is the glucosamine that Penny came with. This is the stuff that she takes. It's pure form glu glucosamine plus. Storm used to be on that glucosamine. I don't find the glucosamine really makes much of a difference. This glucosamine plus, I have a feeling, does make a little bit more of a difference. It's also not lost on me that the more supplements and medications somebody takes, the harder it is on their liver. So, um, you guys know that I started, like, brought Penny here and noticed that she was grouchy and started to try different things and give her different things. Now that I'm pretty sure we've discovered what the issue is, the issue is, the biggest issue is, was that she needed a liver detox. Um, I'm going to slowly start weaning her off all that other stuff because I don't believe in over-medicating or over um, give uh, over supplementing a horse that doesn't need all that stuff so uh, it's going to be trial and error for the next few weeks and over the winter is the perfect time to figure out what she needs and what she doesn't but she's coming along you guys she's coming along happy and getting happier every day so this is what i spent my whole entire morning doing i i sort of repaired chino's blanket the only thing that was wrong with his blanket is that the bomb was ripped out of it so there's missing some piping on there. It's probably only going to last like a week, maybe. But you know what? That's the only thing that was wrong with this nice heavyweight blanket. It's also got a neck on it. So I did not want to waste it by throwing it out just from one little tiny part ripped from it. So even if it lasts us another week or another two weeks or a month or whoever knows how long. Chino's not too hard on his blanket. So hopefully this one's going back to the barn. This is Storm's brand new one. Brand new blanket. Not a single strap in the front chest part, which is how he must have broke out of it because the straps were all still done up, the leg straps. So both sides of the chest, like the whole entire chest piece is broken. I could repair that. The gusset, front gusset is completely destroyed. And the only other part that's broken is like the bum flap is all good. It's just this section right here, which is such an easy repair. I mean, I could tape it and then sew it. No, actually, that would be a disaster. But yeah, this was this is easy to repair. So actually, I could repair this. I have other old blankets that I've kept, so I could just replace the straps. Is it worth it though? Three hundred dollars. Is it worth it to to repair it? Yeah, you can have potatoes. You're gonna have potatoes for breakfast. Potatoes go straight to the butt. I'm not gonna lie. I'm the kind of girl that has to try. I'm going to try and fix this blanket. This is going to be the hardest part to sew right here because it's so thick. Yeah, one, like what, this lasted maybe two days. So we're getting ready to shoot a video and I've been trying to clean up a little bit, get things ready for Christmas. You guys are probably all doing that or at least your parents are doing that. And um, decided to bring this chair down from Gabby's room. I also treated it with some um, leather oil because it was looking kind of dried out. Who remembers where we got this chair and what we bought and what Sam bought it for? He bought it for me specifically two Decembers ago. This year is two years old and it reclines all the way back so that you can sleep on it and it rises all the way up. One of those chairs that lifts you all the way up so you don't have to like stand up on your own. It's awesome. I was gonna sell it after I didn't need it anymore and then I realized that Sam might need it one day so we decided to keep it. Anyways, uh, we're gonna shoot a video. It will probably be up tonight. If, if you guys are interested, it's probably, um, I'm really excited about shooting it. I think it's something that has to be said, something that has to be done. Sophie's just enjoying life. Sophie's just enjoying the chair. Okay, so we're gonna try and shoot this video. And you guys all know that doing anything with two puppies around is terrible. All right, so my video is rendering. And we are headed out, you guys. It is running less than time. It is late. We haven't really eaten. I have a candy in my mouth. Uh, I haven't eaten. Oh, great. Hi. I think I think we're getting McDonald's. We are sure for a bad lesson if Gabby hasn't eaten. The rule is, the ru oh my gosh. Really, you're that, it's like a week before Christmas and that's what's getting you excited? So the rule is, the rule is that even if you want to talk back, you're not allowed. Gabby, if you get frustrated with something, you need to ask for help, okay? Those are the rules. I don't think they listen. What about me? No, talking back. All right, we are at the barn already. We stopped and got something to eat because we were all starving. She's Ryan Finn. 
Why? Because I want Sophie to ride Storm just to keep her good. Sophie had a neck injury earlier in the week. How's your neck? Oh my gosh, Storm. How's your neck? Good, hold. Hold, please. So I got smart. I wore two pairs of mitts. I have a heavy pair and then a light pair so my thumb won't get cold. All right, so a lesson is over fast today because we are frozen. Everybody's frozen. And some of the kids do not wear like warm coats and stuff, but I have got two pairs of mitts, snow pants, two pairs of socks, a winter coat, a sweater, and a long sleeve shirt, and I'm frozen. The barn though is so warm. You wouldn't believe how warm the barn is. I got Stormy Boy though. Probably the most, our most affectionate horse ever. So I did the video, I made a video about Stella and her dying today. And in it, I was like rubbing Penny's face and I kissed her and I went like this. And she looked at me and she kissed me two times. And then she like practically put her whole head into my arms when I was rubbing her face. Like, huge progress. But I love you too, Stormy Boy. I love you too. I do. All the girls are, oh my gosh, I'm missing it. This is the way it should always be. Parents hold, this is how you get warm, kids. Kids are taking care of all the jumps. <laughs> Parents are all holding onto the horses. <laughs> Brandon knows what your horse's poop looks like. Brandon, you can't pick up diarrhea. Can I bury it? I didn't bury it. He's just unpacking Finn, put him in his stall already. She's going to get him his blanket. It's warm in the barn. It's actually warm inside the barn where all the horses are breathing. Chino's like, what about me? Why am I not getting ridden? Next time, Chino. You're it. Next time, you're up. All right, so I did the worst thing possible in life. Oh, yeah. Where'd we find Where'd you get that? It's hard. I sprayed the pepper spray on the blankets. I gave them a refresher coat before we left because Chino's neck got ripped. No, they're good. And um, so we're standing there chatting after I sprayed it. Nobody knew I sprayed it. And we're all trying to, we're all like, uh, uh, we're all, <laughs> Gabby's still coughing. We're all trying not to cough because we don't want anybody to think we have COVID. Nobody knows why all of a sudden their throat is killing them. So then the owner of the barn, he starts coughing and then Kaylee starts coughing. And I'm like, okay, y'all are coughing. <laughs> I'm gonna cough. I'm like, let's go. And then Chino was smiling. <laughs> Yeah, like it was, you should always spray it outside, but I couldn't spray it outside and I wanted to spray it because we won't be back for, we probably won't be back till Monday now. Don't you know that you're beautiful?